What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a three-dimensional paper path model of Minecraft Steve. Let's begin by going through some of the supplies we're gonna need for today's lesson. We'll be building today's model using these eight by 11 sheets of cardboard stock paper. We also have this assortment of Posca paint pens, a glue gun and some extra glue sticks, a regular pencil or marker to draw our character, some masking tape, a pair of scissors, a foot long ruler, and some extra white paper stock. Now we want to begin by creating an eight centimeter block for the head. So we'll use a ruler to mark every centimeter up to eight centimeters along the top. Let's go all the way down towards the bottom of our sheet and do the same thing. Now lining up each of those points, we're just going to draw a line going straight across. And now to create that pixel pattern, we're going to start from the left side of the page and mark off every centimeter going all the way over towards the right. Do the same thing across the opposite side of our page. And then again, we're just going to connect each of those points with a straight line. Now we're just going to mark off eight lines to create a square grid. Now, using our scissors, we'll cut out that eight square centimeter grid. Now, we use this square as a template to create five more sides. Now going back, we'll cut out each of those five squares. And once we've cut out all six squares, we're going to go back and start building out the body, arms, and legs. Now for the body, we're going to start with the same width, going eight centimeters across the top and bottom. And then connecting those points to create our guides. And then for the length of the body, we're going to go one and a half times the length of the head. So that'll be 12 centimeters. Now we're going to cut out that 8 by 12 centimeter panel. Now let's trace out that panel for the back of the body. Now you want to go 5 centimeters wide on the side panels. Now we only need the bottom side of the body since the top will be covered by the head. Now that we have the pieces for the head and the body, let's build out the arms and legs. Now we're going to be making the arms and legs 4 centimeters in width. So we're going to mark off 20 centimeters going across for all four sides. We're going to mark off the arms at 20 centimeters and then at every 4 centimeters in between. Now the arms are going to be the same length as the body, so we'll mark 12 centimeters. I'm just going to trim off the excess card. Let's count in four sections and cut off the end. I'm going to keep the end for the top and bottoms of the arms. Split the section in half. Now to close off the top and bottoms of the arm, we're going to create a four centimeter square. Now we need to create four panels, so we're going to mark off every four centimeters four times. Let's repeat that across the bottom. Mark off the edge. Now you want to repeat that same process for the legs, marking this five times across, and then connect each point. Let's make the legs the same length as the arms at 12 centimeters. And again, we're just going to trim off the back. And then again, we're going to create four four centimeter squares. Now once we have all the components for the head, body, arms, and legs, it's time to start painting. Now we're going to paint the face on this full grid panel. Let's start with the skin tone measuring two pixels down. And we'll leave one pixel along the side for the hair. And we'll just paint in the entire bottom area. Now for the side of the hair, we're just gonna go four pixels down along the bottom. Go up, go across, Come down and work our way towards the back of the head. And then we're just going to mirror this over on the right side of the head. Now, as we wait for the head panels to dry, we're going to work our way across the top of the collar in the center of the body. Now 
for the sleeves, we're just gonna mark this off at four centimeters. And I'm going to paint the whole bottom area. And now we're gonna go back and add that dark brown to the top of the hair. Also want to fill in the top and back sides of the head. Now I need this dark brown from the bottom panel of the head. Let's jump back to the body and fill the front of the shirt in this teal blue. Do the same thing to the side panels of the body. Now let's do the same thing across that back panel. Now we're going to go back and fill in the top sleeves of the arms. And we want to fill the top ends of the sleeves in blue. And we'll fill the other two pieces with the skin tint. Let's measure off three centimeters across the bottom of the legs, and we'll fill that area with our gray. Now, as we wait for the other paint to dry, we're just going to add a trim across the bottom edge of the body. And we're just going to carry that trim along the side of the body. And then in the back. And now it's filling the entire leg area with this dark blue. Now I'm just going to use a darker skin tone marker to block in the middle. Start by tracing up the sides. Fill that in. And going in with a brown marker and adding the goatee. And using our white pen, we'll just trace out the outside of the eyes. Now going back to our pencil, we're just going to mark off every four centimeters across the arms. And using an exacto knife, we're going to lightly score that edge. Now we're going to fold the arms across that score line. And with our dark blue marker, we're just going to split the eye in half and fill the inside. Last thing we gotta do is assemble our body parts using our glue gun. Once we finished assembling our character, we'll be sure to leave our signature in the back. And that's pretty much it. That's how we build Minecraft Steve. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because they're posting new lessons every single day. And if you want to learn how to build more models like this, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.